Hello guys, good morning. So, this is Kat Bochi speaking and it is Sunday, July 11. And I'm thinking of a new series that will probably is kind of cool. Because so what we're going to do is just to grow mushroom on a living room. So, I'm not going to picture all of it. But as you can see, there are some spawns that I have. So, this is the, the living room and that's actually my growing room. As you can see there are bags there so that's the bathroom that i turned to a growing area but right now what we're gonna do is to fruit these big bags on this rack so uh, the difference is is it's gonna be on an open air and uh, we're basically gonna rely on the moisture of the bags but still we can spray uh, some mist just to uh, cool cool down the bags uh, to give a bit of humidity around the fruiting bag so in this bags this big bags are actually uh, spent bags and some bags that uh, got contaminated during the incubation and usually contamination uh, contamination are just on top so we scrape the top portion and put them here. So at least one big bag consists of two uh, failed, uh, two contaminated bags or uh, two or more spent bags. So usually after three months, you're gonna see your mushroom fruiting, but they're only having small fruits. So uh, my idea is to uh, put them on a big bag and just scrape the dry part or if there's any contaminate, contaminated part on that spent bags and put them on a bigger bag like this one because there are still moist uh, portion of the spent bags that can still grow but because it's only it only have few substrates left let's say around uh, three three hundred or four hundred grams it's gonna fruit but really really a bit small it's not really satisfying but if you're gonna put them all together in one bag uh, it should be on the same species if it's white uh, just put the white one if it's yellow put the yellow if pink mink and so on and so forth so the idea is to put this on that one and we're just gonna see how long it's gonna take to uh, fruit but to be honest it's already pinning the the pink is already pinning so um usually when you put the spent bags or um, previously uh, contaminated bags uh, on one bag in less than a, in less than a week you're gonna see them actually going white combining their uh, mycelial mycelia network to the other bags As you can see there this is not that white but it's already pinning so I think it's ready okay so uh, give me a minute I'm just gonna put them on the rack it's going kind of hard to set them up if it's if I only have one hand to help me so uh, what I plan is to just uh, fold them up like this one and put them upside down and we're gonna put a slit or opening at the side and wait them to fruit on that side okay and also uh, my setup uh, I do have some this greenish liquid this is actually water and uh, this uh, liquid soap dishwashing soap dishwashing liquid soap whatever i just mix them up because uh the cockroaches hate them so um, with this setup i think i can prevent cockroaches going up on my fruits if ever hopefully they're not gonna fly towards the fruit and that's it uh give me a minute i'll be back okay so i did fold them and put them upside down 
and uh, we're gonna put the slit on this one in this one and see if after a few days or weeks let's see if it's gonna fruit there okay so just give me a minute I'll just put on slit I'm using my scalpel you can actually buy this online Probably less than 300, you're gonna have the handle and multiple uh, number 11. And what you call this? Yeah, number 11. <laughs> blade, blade. Okay, uh, give me a minute. Okay, so that's it. As you can see, we have a slit from this side to this side, and the same on this one, this side to this side. So the yellow. Oyster mushroom and the pink oyster mushroom, which actually been pinning multiple times already. So we're just gonna wait up until it pins on this location, and hopefully it's gonna give us a good fruit. So that's it, guys. This is gonna be our new series. Uh, let's just call them spent or contaminated bags on big bags. <laughs> That's it. Thank you very much and see you next update. Bye-bye.